The five P's I live by. Proper planning and preparation prevents poor performance. That's a fact. Running in drill! King E. 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 I like chicken. I like beef. I like spaghetti with a whole lot of meat. King E. <laughs> yes, sir. What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Mr. Moment, aka King E. And today, you know what it is. You see the vibe, baby. Today, I got some wings, y'all. Now, these are sweet, sweet chili wings. I got these from Southern Hangers. Look at the time. Yeah, I just had a taste for some, some chick on. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, yeah. It's good right there. Some fries back here. Mmm. Mmm. Blessings to everybody in their family today. I hope everybody's having a wonderful day. Welcome to Team E Eats Merch Collection. We got Dewey E E. We got Face Mask E E. Mm hmm. Face Mask E E. Ski Mask E E. Everybody who be asking about how the stuff look, there you go. Mm hmm. Bunny E E. They go to Bunny. That's Bunny E E. Huh? All right. And a lot of y'all be asking about the t-shirts. A lot of y'all ask about my t-shirts. These are the t-shirts. These are the t-shirts, y'all. They stretch a lot. Look. This is a medium. Look how much it stretch. This is a medium. And it goes right back. It bounces back. Good quality. Everybody who wanted merch. Y'all see the number right there. I love y'all. I'm gonna catch up. I'm gonna catch up. How y'all day going? How y'all day going today? Hope everybody day is going. Let me get a little ranch. Just a little ranch. I'm gonna put it on the side. Should I? On the side? Nah. I like it. I love ranch, so. Why not? Why play with it? I know I'm gonna want it anyway. Why play with it? How y'all day going? Hold on, y'all. Huh. Y'all. I gotta talk about something that uh, I had seen. Uh, and I ain't gonna I ain't gonna just speak on on it on it because I don't really just so the hands got the best lemonade in the game. I'm gonna be honest with you. Other than The lemonade that was at Trey and Nini, um, meeting grid. Now, that lemonade there, I had to go and get some of this shipped. I had to go and get some of this shipped to me. Look. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Mm, mm. Him. Oh, y'all. I have never seen in my life first of all 
Rest in peace to the guy who passed away. I ain't gonna say his name. I'm just not. That just ain't me. And normally, mm, mm, mm. Mm. normally, I don't even talk about stuff like that. But, I just ain't never seen so many memes and so many happy people over somebody that passed away. Now, I understand, I understand that Hold on, y'all. I understand that some of y'all might have not liked the guy. He was a content creator. A lot of people didn't like him because of the way he Talked to people and talked about certain people. But. I understand. You might not agree. With. The way he looked at a lot of things. Cool. But, that was his truth. That was his opinion on things. But, I never seen so many people happy because somebody passed away. The man was living in his truth. That was his truth. But I got on Twitter and it was trending. Him dying, the memes of him, it's, it's, we was trending. Not in a good way. And I'm like, is this really happening? Is this really real? People asking to happen because this guy died? People all under the comments talking about how he talked about women, how he talked about men. I mean, at the end of the day, I feel like if you ain't like it, you just didn't, don't watch it. But for you to be happy, and there's another individual has died, I don't get it. To me, That's like past hate. Like you, you wish death on somebody who's trying to hurt your family, who hurt one of your family members or something. Not for somebody who said you was fat or ugly or whatever. On the internet, it did. So, I look at it like this. I feel like, this is my opinion.
If you happy, because a man has passed away, and this man has done no, no harm to you, he ain't pulled up on you, he ain't smacked your mama, he ain't did nothing like that. But you, you happy because he dead. You don't even know this man personally. All you know is what you see on the internet. And you wish him dead. You happy he dead. What does that say about us as a society? That's happy that a man is dead because his because of his opinion. So we're living in a world now where if your opinion don't match my opinion, then I wish death on you. I'm not trying to understand where we at as a as a race. Mr. Y'all. I went to the internet and couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. I could not believe what I was seeing. Then I went to his page and people was really upset that he that he that he passed. Like he really helped a lot of people, but a lot of people just didn't agree with the way he talked. And that's what he was saying. But this is my thing. Just like me. It's so easy for you to get on there. And if you don't like what I say, if you don't like what you see, you just keep strolling, right? But, people for some reason can't do that. They gotta, they gotta voice their opinion. They gotta get on now. They gotta leave a comment. They gotta let everybody know how they feel. What? They gotta let everybody know how they feel. They gotta let the world know. They can't just get on here. And if they don't like it, just keep strolling. They can't do that. That's impossible for them to do. So they can't do it. But I ain't never seen so many people happy that somebody has passed away. It was mind blowing to me. Couldn't believe it. And at the same time, I'm trying to understand where is so much hate coming from. So I said, in order for these people to have this much hate for a guy that they probably didn't even know, half of them probably didn't even know the guy at all. They just know what they seen on the internet. In order for them to have this much hate for a guy, it got to be something, something within them that's not right. It got to be. It got to be something that's in them that makes them have that much hate for a person. A stranger. But like I said, most people
can't just, if they don't like something, not say nothing. They can't just turn away. It's like everybody got to voice their opinion. I don't know why, but that's how it is. But like I said, it's just like me. People come over here and feel like they got to say something. There ain't no way they can't say nothing. I don't understand it. Never ain't for me to understand. But all I know is, in order for it to get like that, there gotta be something real deep going on within yourself. Or well, sometimes, you have to step back and reevaluate your own life. Because if you get that much joy out of a stranger passing away, there's something wrong with that picture. There's something seriously wrong with that picture. Because I know me. I don't wish death. None of that stuff on nobody. But at the same time, I'm at peace with who I am. You know? I look at myself all the time and I reevaluate me. Some of us need to take a step back and reevaluate ourselves. Because there's no way. There's probably be this many happy people over somebody dying. Something ain't right. Something really ain't right about that picture. And I did. I already knew who he was, right? I already knew who he was. And I had watched him. And I was like, he's very interesting. He's very interesting. But, he speak his mind, say what he want to say. But, you can't get mad at a person for that. Well, speaking their truth, how can you be mad at a person for speaking their own truth? So you mean to tell me, if your truth is your truth, and my truth is my truth, if I don't agree with you, I'm wrong. How is that? How does that work? Do you know what the world would be if we all thought just alike? Can you imagine? Just imagine the world with seven billion of you. Act just like you, walk just like you, think just like you. Can you imagine that? What would the world be? If everybody was exactly the same. That's what makes the world go round, because everybody is different. So you got people that's happy. Because a man passed away and they didn't agree with his point of view on whatever it was. He'll tell women. But then, and then this is my other 
another thing. This is another thing. This is another thing. People used to call him. Call his call his phone line and then get mad when he don't say what he what they think he should say. I've seen nothing like that in my life. How you gonna call me, ask me for my opinion on something, and then get mad at me when my opinion is not what you wanted it to be? You might as well just not even call me. Because my opinion of you ain't gonna be your opinion of you. So why you calling me? Hmm? That's why you calling me. But when I don't say what you want me to say, I'm the bad guy. Right there. I ain't never seen nothing like it. It quite frankly made me sick to my stomach, cuz. I ain't never seen people celebrating a guy passing away because of the way, because he walked in his truth. That's basically why, why people hate him. So he walked in his own truth. I ain't never seen nothing like it. Well, I don't want nothing. It is what it is. Y'all going to be happy a lot of more times because in life, you do got people who are just Agree with everybody else just to be on the same page or whatever. But I ain't never been that one of them people. I'm gonna speak my own mind. I'm gonna tell my own truth. Oh, no, I didn't. Mm -mm. Mm. Try to get away from them. That's just me. Hello. Hi. How you doing? Great. How you mama doing? Oh. No, I was just saying. No, that. you. Why you I, say that? I'm sorry. I was just saying. That's how they say. Hey, mama doing? How you doing? Mm mm. Same with Peace Junior. Yep, here. You see, daughter. Anyway. Right oh, I hate niggas. But like I was saying, y'all. Listen to this. Now, I know this might be hard to understand. Especially to your people who just hate so bad to the core. Right? Y'all not going to understand this. But listen. If you, have, if you have something or somebody What is on the internet or in real life? Danger 
I know, I can't order this. But like I was saying, I just tried to give you one you like you want it. Make your mind up. Oh, have mercy. Jesus Christ. Now, don't try to speak. You ain't speak the first time you came in. I had a real day. Mm-hmm. I just don't like this. Hmm? I just don't like this. It's a big one, then. I will. It's a big one. It's good to me. But they look thick, don't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, y'all. Y'all be big, so I'm be ready. You know what I'm gonna say, y'all? This one is hard. Especially for the real haters. Who be real haters to the core. They not gonna They not gonna make do this one. I just listen. So and it's just for anybody. People you watch on the internet, YouTube, people you know in real life. Listen. If they doing something, or got something going that you don't like or agree with, it's fine. You don't have to like or agree with whatever it is they got going. Uh, 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 oh, excuse me. But unless they ask you, unless they ask you, please, please keep your opinion to yourself. Just keep it to yourself. I promise you, you are not going to die if you don't get them your opinion. But I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to be honest with you. Y'all see us on this internet. Y'all see people on the internet, content creators. A lot of people do not have thick skin. Some of them do now. Some of them do. But not all of them. I'm one of the ones that do. I don't care what you say about me. I've been talked about and dragged by people I grew up with. So, whatever you guys say, I ain't worried. I ain't worried about it at all. But I'm going to tell you this. Think about this. Before the next time, you write a nasty comment. Say something disrespectful to somebody. You don't know what headspace that person might be in. That person could be going through something so terrible, so horrible, 
And you can say that one thing, that one comment, to push them on over the edge. They can have a nervous breakdown. Have a, some kind of attack. Or worse. Um, just think about that. Well, next time, you go tell yourself, uh-uh. I don't like the way she did that. I'm going to say this. I don't like the way he did that. I'm going to say this. Just think about it. What if that person is on their last leg? How would you feel? Because we put our life out here for y'all to see, to judge. We can't see y'all. We can't judge y'all. But yet, but yet, y'all see us and judge us every day. I'm telling y'all, we're human too. I know a lot of country creators. That just can't take it. I've seen good country creators. Just be like, man, I can't do it no more. Not because they don't want to do it, but just because they can't take the criticism and the bullying on the internet. Y'all be surprised what that little typing, that little comment, can do to some people. It really messes some people up. But, you got some real hateful and low down people out here in the world who do it hoping that it happen. Because they not happy with their own life. And we all know hurt people hurt people, so. Uh, oh, excuse me. Is your life miserable? Not what you want it to be. You don't want nobody else to have to be. Happy. Now you ain't gonna fight, I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna fight, huh? But, I love y'all. Mm -hmm. I keep them away. I keep them. Got my own bladder. Okay. I'm going to die here. What I gotta do well, I'm on the internet, right? Well, the internet is a big place. You ain't gonna always like everything you want really strolled up on. But it's real simple.
Then I got strolled up on it. If it's something I don't like, I keep on strolling past it. If I have something I want to say, I say it. I ain't gonna type it. I ain't gonna take too much time out of my day to type something negative. I'm just not gonna do it. I'm gonna say what I gotta say out loud and I'm gonna keep on pushing. Oh man, oh, that's messed up. I don't like that. And I'm strolling, I'm gone. Huh. I'm good now. Y'all already know. My motto when the food gone, I'm gone. I love y'all. Mm. I can't hear mm. Got a piece of chicken in the bike. Mm. Y'all already know my motto. The food gone now. If ain't nobody tell y'all today, I love you. If nobody tell you yesterday, I love you. If ain't nobody told you nothing this year, I love you. Remember this. Be the best in whatever that you are. Reach for the moon, and if you miss, hang on to a star. I love y'all. I'm going to eat out there. Eat, eat. Everybody else, we the gang. Y'all gang gang. We're not the same. Eat, <laughs>